so we're over here working on another Oliver right now. Hole number is 600 and something. I, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's a 2020. Me and Gavin are finishing up the roof on it right now. He's just moving the ladder or the plank right there so we can get onto it and do the last bit of the roof back here. And Denver is working on the bottom section over on this side. He already got this side down over here. So he's all done with that. And then after that, me and Gavin are gonna hop onto this side, do the top section right here, and then work our way around back, and then up and do this front section. And then we're gonna work our way back around the entire trailer, do the polishing steps, and then we'll be done for the day. Then we have to come back tomorrow, and then we'll be doing the alcohol wipe and the ceramic coating. So still a lot of work left. It's about 1240 right now. And I think we're gonna get done at about five o'clock-ish tonight. And then we'll be heading back here at 8 a.m. to finish up doing that. But I'm gonna get some killer drone shots for you guys. Maybe killer, hopefully it'll turn out good. And then you'll be able to see kinda our process, some cinematic, <clears throat> views of the Oliver and whatnot. I think it'll be cool doing that. So we will catch you guys in a minute. close to finishing up with the polishing right now we just have this small section where Gavin's standing up to the front how's it going hot hot, hot. It's at least hot. it didn't at least it didn't rain today yeah at least it didn't rain I it guess that's a plus good. right uh, and then back here we've got the spare tire section and then over here a little bit too to about this outlet right here and then we'll be finished up with the polishing so it's about 309 right now so we're getting close i said i think we'll be done about five we might be done a little earlier we still got to do the alcohol wipe to get off all the polishing residue and then tomorrow morning we'll come back out here do another alcohol wipe just to make sure everything's perfect to apply the glide coat and then I think that'll take us roughly, what do you think? What? Five hours to do the ceramic? Four. <clears throat> Four hours? Oh, you're, <laughs> you're, <laughs> what? you're being extra, <clears throat> extra confident. I'll, I'm willing to bet. Bet what? Five dollars. Five dollars? I don't $5 know. Five dollars we'll be done. In two and a half hours. I don't know if I have five bucks. I'm broke. <laughs> We're gonna do it tonight. Yeah, I don't know about that. All night. All my back's already broken. We're gonna finish this up, get some uh, drone shots of the alcohol wipe, and then uh, we'll catch you guys back in the morning for the for the ceramic coating. <clears throat> What's going on, guys? So it's the next day here morning it's about 10 50 right now uh we got started probably about two hours ago or so three hours ago uh i didn't get to record this morning yet because we had a lot to do uh to prepare for this morning we had a big storm come through so the trailer got really dirty so we had to basically rewash it wipe it down uh alcohol wipe it again and so now we're starting on the first Part of the coating uh, so this is coat number one Gavin and Denver are putting on here right now so they'll be done with that hopefully this whole section or the whole trail will be done with coat number one at about 1130 or so and then right about that time we'll get right back on the roof and start the second portion of the coating or the second coat of the coating so how's it going Gavin 
in Denver. Good. Good. Right. Yeah. A little humid out. Yeah. Make it things a little more difficult. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so the humidity kind of sucks when it comes to putting on the coating or just drying the trailer in general because it just keeps everything so wet so we got to deal with that as well but we'll get over it and we'll get through it and uh i get some drone shots as well so let's get to it Just finished up the Oliver right now and to be honest it looks really good we put uh, two coats of the glide coat on there so even everything out all the streaks are gone all the little imperfections are gone after doing the buffing and the compounding and it is just looking glossy smooth this thing looks beautiful 